What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Chick coming at you with another Diablo 3 build guide. Today, I'm going to be telling you about the Patterns of Justice Monk set, which you can see right here is just the easiest, most chill thing we can play right now. I don't know how else to describe this. You hold down right click until you get to an elite pack you pull it in you let go of right click and they explode um it's kind of funny because yeah Inna is super fast super easy get you where you need to go but um this does something completely different it will just blow up the screen you put up your buffs you hold down your button you pull them in and you one shot everything honestly it's pretty ridiculous you don't have to think you just have to hold down right click when you get something that you will want to blow up you let go of right click you push it again as you can see it just womp it's gone womp it's gone like it's intense when we go over the gear i will show you why it's so ridiculous we'll talk about how i have my setup but just in the time it's taken me to ramble about the intro we're uh, almost done with the greater rift so uh sit back relax enjoy the rest of this clear and um let me show you how to be lazy with your monk moving forward in season 30 and farming all of y'all primal gear needs something else that's kind of cool about this wait till we get to the rift guardian let's see how long does he take a uh, punk you let go you click again and we just absolutely wrecked a 90 let's see how long did our 90 take two minutes you didn't even have to think about it man seems like a pretty good way to roll right all right let's hop right into the build all right let's hop right into the gear and gems talents and everything you need to play the patterns of justice set so this build is based on the pattern of justice which is the those bands of justice the mountains of justice decree of justice weaves of justice lamellars of justice and mirrors of justice right Two set sweeping winds gains the effect of every rune. Movement speed is increased by 5% for each stack of sweeping winds. Attacking with Tempest Rush reduces your damage taken by 50% and increases fit spirit regeneration by 50. Not 50%, but by 50, which is insane. Six set hitting with Tempest Rush while sweeping wind is active increases the size of sweeping wind and also increases all damage dealt by 20,000%. That is ridiculous. All right, so we are putting that together with Scorch Necklace while not taking damage. Damage dealt is increased by up to 100%. Damage taken is increased by up to 50%. We're using Cesar's Memento. Enemies take 800% increased damage from your Tempest Rush for 5 seconds after you hit them with a Blind, Freeze, or Stun. We're using Unity to get a little tougher. Got one on your follower. Your follower has the Cannot Die token. I'm currently using the Enchantress because she gives you some cooldown reduction and stuff. We're also using Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac, reduces remaining cooldown of your skills by one second when you hit with a resource spending attack. Just amazing, keeping everything up all the time. We're using Captain Crimson Silk Girdle for the four or three set here. Two set regenerates life. Cooldown reduced by 20%, reduces all resource costs by 20%. In the three set, damage dealt is increased by your percentage of cooldown reduction and damage taken is reduced by your percentage of cost reduction. So we are stacking those two things. It's just making us a little more tanky, making us deal a little more damage. We're also wearing Captain Crimson's waiters. So we have Echoing Fury in the main hand. As you can see, I have rolled off the main stat here just to get more damage, more attack speed, more cooldown. And we are using Wan Kim Lao. Uh, 
rolled cooldown here as well. Hitting with Tempest Rush will activate Cyclone Strike. Both skills deal increased damage. We are using the Sliver of Terror in the helmet. Ideally, you would have one that rolled Dexterity instead of one that rolled Resist All. I do not have one with Dex yet. It is starting to make me sad. We're using Tyguk, increased damage for 1.5 seconds. When you spend resource on a channeled skill, stacks up to 10 times. We are holding down Tempest Rust all the time. Gain 2% increased armor for every stack. We are using Bane of the Trapped, slow things down, deal more damage to them. And we're using Molten Wildebeest Gizzard. This is regenerating life per second. We're not using this necessarily for the life per second, but for the shield to keep up Squirt's Necklace because we're not getting hit that often because of the way our skills are set up. We have Essence of Anguish. The big roll we're looking for here is Cold Skills deal 25% more damage. So that's what we're doing there. And then in the offhand weapon, we are using Increased Critical Hit Damage. We are using balance in the cube. The damage of Tempest Rush is increased by 600%, and when it hits three or fewer enemies, it has 100% increased critical hit chance. Mantle of Channeling, while channeling Siphon Blood, Whirlwind, Rapid Fire, Strafe, Tempest Rush, Fire Bats, Arcane Torrent, Disintegrate, Ray of Frost, you deal 25% increased damage and take 25% reduced damage. And then Ring of Royal Grandeur to make sure we get our sets. So. We are going to talk about some of the synergies here in just a moment. Cyclone Strike, Wall of Wind, freezes everything when it pulls them in. This is auto casting because of the way our things work. And they're getting frozen from Caesar's Memento, so they're taking increased damage. Wan Kim Lao is making it auto cast. So as long as we have Cyclone Strike on our bar, it is getting auto cast by Wan Kim Lao. Cesar's Memento is freezing them and making them take increased damage, and it is just going all around really well. Super good. That's what makes it so chill and easy. Tempest Rush Flurry. After you stop channeling, you cause an icy blast all enemies within 15 yards. It is increased by 90% weapon damage as cold while channeling. That was the stacks you started seeing me get down at the bottom. Um, that is why when you let go of the button and you start pushing it again, you just pop everything around you. Dashing Strike, Way of the Falling Star. We're using this to give us some more movement speed. We like to zoom when we're doing speed content. Serenity Ascension. We're using this because it gives us a shield for four seconds. You should be pushing this button a lot more than I do. It is like four o'clock in the morning. So, yeah. I was not pushing this as much as I should have. Epiphany Desert Shroud. This is reducing your damage taken by 50% and is increasing your spirit regeneration. So this is just all around a good thing. Keep this up all the time. And then Sweeping Wind Inner Storm. Keep this up all the time as well. As you have your Vortex at three or more stacks, you gain eight spirit per second. So this is just keeping your spirit topped off. Surround yourself in a Holy Vortex. It deals weapon damage to all enemies within 10 yards. Last six seconds and refresh each time you hit an enemy. When you land a crit, it increases the Vortex up to three stacks. For a total of 315% weapon damage as Holy. So this is just amazing. Um, the other way you can do this, but none of us really do it is putting your um vengeful wind on you can make it where you get more stacks of that but that is really it you don't use it a whole lot i don't even have one in my inventory is how much we don't use it right all right so we're using the guardian's path you get 35 percent chance to dodge while dual wielding we're dual wielding, so no brainer. Seize the initiative. You gain attack speed. Whenever you hit somebody above 75% HP for four seconds. So this is always up. Relentless Assault. More damage to enemies that are blind, frozen, or stunned. Remember our little bit of synergy we got here. Keeping things frozen. And then we've got Beacon of Etar, which is just keeping our cooldowns down we have 20 percent more cooldown reduction at all times because of beacon this set looks cool it plays cool it just 
go, 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 right? Um, use whatever potion you want. We're using diamonds in our gear to help get up our all resist, but that's it for this one, guys. I uh, showed you guys the gameplay already. Get out there and put this one together. It's fun, it's fast, it's easy. Super chill way to turn off your brain and farm if you are looking for something to watch Netflix while you are slaying demons. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one and see you guys in Sanctuary.